Hi, um, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use this paper to transfer inkjet images with water. Um, this paper was made by International Paper and uh, was sold in like Walmart and CVS, but it was discontinued several years ago. Um, so I wanted to show you how to use it and there will be a handout that will come with um, the paper in my Etsy shop because I'm going to destash and sell some of this. Um, and so let me show you how to use it. Okay, so you're going to need a spray bottle, a wooden spoon, or something to burnish with. <laughs> I've been using mine to burnish things so long. Um, it's smooth there. <laughs> um, also, baby wipe and a paper towel. Okay, and I have paper I pulled out of my scrap bin. This is Stonehenge. Um, you can use virtually any paper. Um, I've also done it on muslin, light colored leather, um, but whatever texture the paper has is going to show in the image. Also, because you're going to spray it with water, um, lighter weight paper is of course going to buckle some. It doesn't matter whether. If that matters to you, it doesn't matter much to me, but if it matters to you, then you want to use a heavier, smooth paper. So I'm just, oops, putting my hair on there. Okay, spritzing it up, and I'm letting it soak in, and then I'm making sure there's no puddles. You don't want puddles. So, okay, and then I'm going to take one of my printed images, and I'm just going to stick it down. I'm going to burnish. Okay, see where there's a little bit of a bleed of ink right there? That's what the baby wipe is for. I'm just going to wipe that off. I don't really care too much about that. There will be some bleeding um, for prints that have a lot of color or a lot of dark. You'll see some bleeding anyway. Um, okay, now see here in this corner this little bit of white? This is how to get that. Okay, I'm going to peek again. Pretty good. Now I'm going to peek from the other direction. If it's stuck, you didn't put enough water on your transfer. Okay. On your paper, rather. Okay, so there is the transferred image. And there's what I call the left behind part. And I usually save these also because sometimes they are quite interesting. And this one's pretty cool. So I'm going to hang on to both pieces. And I'm going to show you again. I guess it will work. I think my image is square. All right, so apply some water. Remove the puddles. I'm going to give it a second to soak in a little. All right. Get a sticker down there of him. I don't know which angel that is. Check it. All right, she needs a little bit more water. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do some more burnishing. I'm gonna look from this side. That's pretty good. There she is. And there's the left behind part. Okay. And I want to show you, I did this one earlier, but just to give you an idea, you can also transfer text. This one was already transferred. This is the left behind part. But remember to flip your image so that the, it's wrong reading, so that when you transfer it, it comes out right reading. Okay? Thank you.